Hi guys, Bran here, and today I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind lately that I've been seeing not only in my stream with myself, but also with a lot of other DVD streamers, is that there, if you're not aware, is another cheater wave coming in uh, where there's a lot of cheaters actively on the game, and it's made me kind of just really suspect and paranoid about a lot of the matches that I'm in, and I feel like it just, I just feel uncomfortable with the way that I go about handling it, and I don't know how I should go about handling situations like that, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. So if you're unaware, in Dead by Daylight, cheaters kind of come and go in waves. So the cheaters will, if you, Troy videos are excellent for this. If you want to go learn more about how this works on the back end, Troy has a lot of excellent videos on what's going on in the cheaters back end and how that works. So definitely go check them out. Basically cheaters come and go in waves because cheater releases cheat behavior eventually catches on to it. And then, you know, it's dealt with and then it kind of dies down for a while and then it comes back and it kind of comes and goes in waves. So there will be times in the game where there's like barely any cheaters, like I won't get anything suspect for like two straight months. And then suddenly there'll be a whole month where I'm just like, what is happening? What is going on in like a lot of my games? And honestly, it's just one of those things where I just feel bad. I just feel bad whenever I have to accuse like literally anybody at all because it's just a bad situation. It feels bad for the person that is receiving the accusations because they're, you know, they may not be a cheater. You know, a lot of times they often will be, but a lot of times they often won't be as well. And it just kind of puts them in an awkward situation where they're being accused of doing something bad that they are not. Now, I have names hidden on my stream. So unless you come and out yourself specifically that there's no way that that can happen. <laughs> but, you know, people do that because it's the community and people like the kind of like thrill, the drama, etc. But I just I feel bad even having to like say that I feel bad even having to talk about it because it, I just it, it feels bad accusing somebody of something that they potentially didn't do. But also, uh, it is worth noting that a lot of the hackers that exist in DVD aren't the funny ones like the, the flying ghost faces that throw hatchets or the survivor that's teleporting and, and speeding around the map. Most cheaters in Dead by Daylight are subtle cheaters, meaning that they're slightly adjusting their speed or slightly adjusting their gen speed or slightly faster than they should be. Um, those are the more common kind of cheats, so those are the ones that kind of gaslight you into potentially just barely being able to catch it, but second guessing and downing yourself the whole way as well. And it feels bad to see a streamer do this because there's always the, the, the chance that a streamer is not accusing somebody of cheating in good faith. They're accusing them of cheating because they're being a sore loser or they're just being a baby. So it puts the, the a bad light on the streamer as well, just for even like bringing it up. Something alarming that has been happening to me. I don't know if it's been happening for anybody else, but in the past month and a half, I have experienced uh, cheaters, hackers in the game of Dead by Daylight, but Every single time that I have reported them inside the game of DBD, I have gotten zero report backs because DBD will tell you, hey, action was taken on this account. If they found somebody who is cheating, they'll say banned for exploits, action taken on this date. Um, but uh, the last three times I've done that, I've had nothing on behaviors and from that, which would, you know, and, you know, lead you to believe that, OK, well, they probably weren't cheating then. But Steam, Steam has taken action on those accounts. I've gotten Steam notifications because Steam also does that. If you report somebody on Steam and they end up, you know, taking action on them, Steam also lets you know that that's a thing. Uh, I have gotten report backs on Steam, but behavior, dead silence. Usually when I report on both uh, Dead by Daylight and Steam, I get a report from both if they were actually doing something. I get the report back on Dead by Daylight's end and I get the report back on Steam's end. But lately, it's just only been Steam for any time that I've actually caught somebody, which is a little alarming. I don't know why that's the case. <laughs> Hopefully that's just the case of me just like not knowing how something works, but that could imply that something is up with Baver's report system, which I would, <laughs> would not be the first time, but you know, it's scary either way. If you guys remember, uh, there was a very, very big controversy earlier this year because Trickster was plagued with an epilepsy bug uh, that was causing flashing lights that would happen uh, suddenly. And for anybody who had uh, who had epilepsy or photosensitivity issues, it could potentially be dangerous. And somebody supposedly went to the hospital for this uh, before behavior actually, you know, did something to mitigate this. The reason I bring that up is because one of the reasons that Behavior said that they had not taken action on this for a while was because they simply did not have the reports to indicate it was something that was happening frequently. Even though I know I was sending stuff in, I know Revium was sending stuff in, I know other contractors were sending stuff in, I know that like people were actively sending in those reports 
So that's not true. So that means one of two things. It means that uh, there was something wrong with the report system or something was inefficient with how the report system was designed because behavior by their own admission was not receiving those reports about something extremely serious. I don't know what changes they've made to the report system, if any, uh, since then, but it is kind of alarming that in terms of catching people subtle hacking that it, it, Steam has been more active than behavior has. Kind of weird. Literally also really funny aside. <laughs> Literally, I was, you know, having my morning coffee and all that wonderful stuff. And I was tuning into some Dead by Daylight streams to vibe while I wake up. And I tune into Ots Darva and Ots Darva today was analyzing a cheater they had during their, their Chaos Shuffle streak. Uh, of it was a tomorrow that was like <laughs> basically kind of like subtly ignoring the clown's purple gas uh, and just kind of like running normally anyways um so that was cool that was neat i don't know I, I, my my main thing here that i want to talk about though is like what is the streamer's right protocol when it comes to like being sus of somebody potentially cheating because i feel like I feel like you're the big bad guy if you're a streamer and you accuse anybody of even like potentially being sus at all like the, you were the bad guy in that situation i guess that like the only thing i could potentially think of is like the like the right protocol for that the only thing i can think of that could potentially be the right thing here is just kind of like you know keep it to myself don't make a big deal about it very like silently politely report them on steam but that doesn't really work either because like a lot of cheaters are globes um because there's other pc um platforms <laughs> where a lot of cheaters like to hide uh for that reason so um that's not foolproof man how, how do we like that's like why i'm kind of making this video because i, I want to see what like you guys think is it just it feels weird as well to just like not comment <laughs> at all because like that's something i've weighed is like maybe i just don't comment at all uh, that i think somebody's being sus or somebody's doing you know some cheaty hacky things but at the same time if i if i do that then i report them then people are like what you're reporting them what did they do yeah and that's just there's kind of like just like no way to avoid it right so i don't know i'm just kind of in this like pigeonhole of you know be the big mean streamer accusing somebody of potentially hacking which you know sheds negative light on somebody who may not deserve it and sheds negative light on me because you can just take me accusing anybody as being a baby or whatever it's just like it just doesn't it's just not a pleasant situation to be in uh so i don't really know how streamers should go about handling that it feels like it's currently it just feels like a damned if you do damned if you don't situation because if you do report them um and you're you know potentially wrong then you know you were accusing somebody falsely and then you're a big baby and immature for doing that but if you don't report them and they actually were cheating they go on to harass other people which obviously makes the quality of the game for everybody overall really bad <laughs> so i don't know what the right answer is so what do you guys think what do you think is the best way for a streamer to handle somebody they're sus of subtle hacking what is the best way to go about that as a streamer because i I don't know and i would like to do better i would like to do better i would like not to be that guy that like accuses people all the time and if i can go about it in a way that's better and healthier when i th am suspect that something is happening i would like to so yeah what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below that's gonna be it for today's video friends thank you so much for watching but i will see you in the next video and if i do not i will see you when i see you goodbye <laughs>